Hello, Namaste, Salam Walekum, Sastriyakal. Welcome back to another session with your washer at Wareva.com. Today, I am going to make a fantastic fish preparation. It's a fish in chili garlic sauce. For this, you need a whole fish. Just give a gaseous on the fish like this. The more gaseous you give, the closer it is better. We are going to apply some nice marination to it and then leave it for like around 20 minutes after which we are going to put the fish in hot oil. Take a paper towel and make sure that the fish is all dry. There should not be any moisture in it. Now add some soya sauce in vinegar. Now take the fish, pour the soya sauce mixture onto the fish on both sides. Just make sure that the sauce goes inside. See for this fish I cut off the tail because the frying pan I am going to use this fish is not going to fit with the tail but with the tail it look even better. After marinating for around 15 minutes we are going to sprinkle some corn flour onto this and just rub it. That should be good enough. Now pour oil. We are going to shallow fry the fish so add little extra oil. Now in this add the fish. You know if you can get hold of a nice fish pan like this it will be awesome. You know cook the fish on a slow flame because you want the fish to be cooked even from inside. And uh, look at this, it's getting nice and crispy because of the corn flour we added. Wow, wow, wow. Now you can see the fish is getting cooked nicely. You can use any flat fish, but today I'm using sea bass because sea bass is my favorite. Once it's cooked, the meat is nice and sweet. Now the fish is all getting cooked. I'm going to make the sauce for it, add some oil. Add chopped garlic, ha, ha, ha. Ha, 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 ha. add chopped ginger, I'm going to reduce the flame, add slices of onion, you want the garlic to be slightly golden, wow that is good, you know this onion will give a nice spread once you pour this sauce, in this we're going to add some chili sauce, add soya sauce, tomato ketchup, jaggery or brown sugar, if you have brown sugar you add brown sugar, if not you can add the regular jaggery that will give a very nice uh, sweetness to this add salt salt be very careful because the soya sauce everything has salt so what i would suggest is add the salt last add lemon juice and i've got some fish stock here or you can add any stock just add a little stock wow 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 check the taste now look at this the sauce is all ready and uh, i've checked the taste it's perfect in this add some whites of spring onion and the sauce is perfectly ready. Now the magic is going to happen. Just take this sauce and pour it on the fish and uh, do not pour too much of the sauce. What you can do is you, know, you can give the extra sauce in a saucepan and now you can make it more colorful by slices of red bell pepper and then spring onion. Dear friends, you know look at this. This is one of my favorite. I love my fish when I can see the entire fish. You know, I wish the tail pot was also there. It wasn't fitting in the pan. That's why I cut it off. But when I see the entire fish, that gives an immense happiness for me. Do not have any doubts. This fish is not for sharing. This is for solo eating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, there are many times I dream of eating this kind of fish. Wow. I wish I can make it even more spicy. Even though I added a lot of chili still. Mm. Wow. But do not forget, Varava is all about inspiring others to cook. So please post your recipes and cooking tips so others can benefit from your great cooking. Thank you. Someone has written in the comment, Chef, you are a disgusting eater. You know, you don't know what disgusting eating means. See, when you suck the eyeballs of the fish after you finished and that too with the whole world watching. That is disgusting. Wow. Look at the eyeballs. Every finger counts.